वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सक्सेस इन ऑफिशियल आज हम देखेंगे टॉयलेट वेंटिलेशन डिजाइनिंग एंड ड्राफ्टिंग और देख सकते हैं ये दिस इज वन ऑफ टॉयलेट वेंटिलेशन कमेंट्स आप देख सकते हैं एक्चुअली देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ टॉयलेट प्राइवेट टॉयलेट्स एंड पब्लिक टॉयलेट private toilets if fan is continuous running then 25 cfm for non continuous fan is non continuous running then 50 cfm considered for public toilet continuous running 50 cfm for non continuous 75 cfm okay the following point we consider for mechanical ventilation of toilet exhaust flow rate Then exhaust air duct, pressure flow rate, then static pressure calculation, and exhaust air fan selection. Exhaust flow rate case calculate karte hain. Toh aap dekh sakte hain the exhaust flow rate C F M is equal to M Q into A C H divided by one point seven. Or if the dimension is given in the feet. So feet Q volume into air changes per hour divided by 60. Where MQ is the nothing but the volume of the room, length, width and height, meter. ACH is air changes per hour 6 to 10 is considered as per EVA. To buy electricity and water authority, this is from the EVA. ACH is total to 30 as per India standard. Actually, there are two method. Uh, first one is as Siri machine method, and second one is CH method. It changes forever. So let us see first method. As method. Example in this figure, uh, public toilet size is two meter by two meter. Calculate the exhaust and pressure flow rate. So, According to the SRS 62.1 2010, for public toilet continuous fan is running continuous. So 50 CFM each toilet. So number of toilet is 6. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total is 6. So exhaust flow CFM is 6 into 50. So 300 CFM. Consider this is equation 1. For passage area 1, CFM per square feet. So passage area is 6 meter by 1 meter, so 6 square meter and 1 square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet. So convert this a square meter into a square feet, you will get 64.56 square feet. Exhaust plus CFM for passage area is 64.56 into 1, so 64.56. Consider this equation 2. Combined add these two, so total exhaust flow rate is equation 1 plus equation so 300 and plus 64.56. Approximate 365 C. And fresh air, we have to convert the fresh air CFM. Fresh air CFM is equal to 90% of exhaust air. I am considering air 80%, so 0.8 to 365, 290. Next method is ACH method. Air changes per hour. ACH is nothing but air changes per hour. So ACH method. M, there are actually there are formula M Q to ACH divided by one point seven. So toilet size is two meter by two meter. So four square meter and height is assumed three meter. 4 into 2, 3, 12 cubic meter. <coughs> 6 to 10, so I am considering 6, 6 ACH. So 12 into AC is divided by 1.7. So total exhaust flow rate is 42 CFM cubic feet per minute. Number of toilet is 6. So total CFM for 6 toilet is 6 to 42. 
one toilet forty two, so six toilet six into forty two two fifty two equation one. And for passage area same one cfm per square feet, so total passage area is six meter into one sixty square meter convert into feet a square feet. So one you can see here one square meter is equal to ten point seven six square feet. So we are getting sixty four point five square feet. Exhaust flow rate for passage area is 64.56. Consider this equation 2. So total exhaust flow rate is equation 1 plus equation 2. 316 CFM. 316 CFM. And fresh air is 80% of exhaust air. So we are getting 254 CFM. Exhaust your duct size out to calculate the duct size. So, you know, as per the continuity equation, Q is equal to into V. So, A is equal to Q by V, where Q is A is nothing but the area in square feet. Q is exhaust flow rate in CFM and V is the velocity in feet per minute. 500 feet per minute. So, A is equal to Q by V. So, Q is equal to 317 divided by 500 feet. Per minute, we are getting 0.634 square feet. Can convert into square meters. 0.06 square meter. Width into height. Area is nothing but the width into height. Consider height is 0.2 meter. So you can get the width is 0.3 short. 200 by 300 size. <coughs> Aspect ratio width by height is equal to 1 is to 4, so with 300 by 200, 1.5, so duct is good. This is comes under 1 is to 5. Now, how to calculate the static pressure? As per the thumb rule, for 1, is to 1 meter of stacked duct is 0 0.004 inches of water. 90 degree elbow 0.2 inches of water gauge and 45 degree elbow 0.1 inches of water. So for the fan selection exhaust fan is selected based on the performance curve graph given in a static pressure in inches of water gauge versus exhaust air flow in cubic meter. A standard disc valve size is 4 inch 6 inch. So 4 inch is 50 cfm to 100 cfm, 6 inch is 100 cfm to 180 cfm, if the flow rate is 100 to 180 cfm, then 6 inch disc valve is considered 180 to 48 inch, standard door grill size 2 inch height, actually this is the door grill size height 2 inch 4 inch 6 inch to 12 inch away. H equal to Q by V A is nothing but the width by into width into height divided Q by V. This is the end. Now we will see the drafting and designing in the AutoCAD. I will show you this as a You can see here this is the ASHRAE standard ventilation standard for acceptable indoor air quality. I will show you this table, ventilation table. Minimum ventilation, minimum ventilation rate for breathing. Actually, so you can see here.
this here you can see here this is a Azure handbook Azure standard 62.1-2010 ok and this table is table 6 dash 4 minimum exhaust rate this is the occupancy you can see here this is the occupancy category and the exhaust rate you see even per unit the exhaust rate see even per square feet so if you see here the shell is required one cfm per square feet okay and for the toilet private and toilet public 50 70 for continuous running 50 non continuous 70 okay and for the public toilet 25 50 for continuous fan is running continuous then we consider 25 cm fan is run, not running continuous and continuous and 50 cm per unit so let's start how to design this you can see here this is this uh, public toilet so we will design first and then we will do the drafting part Thank you.